Hello, welcome to our monthly performance monitor. My name is Barney Hawkins, Investment Director at True Potential. November turned out to be a cautious month for investors as they digested the various conflicting signals in financial markets. On the one hand, the world is enjoying a period of synchronized global expansion with all 45 members of the OECD reporting economic growth. On the other hand, there is a distinct feeling that the interest rate cycle has turned and that while rates may not go up very far, very fast, we are at something of a watershed and that in the short term, especially in the US, interest rates are headed up. There was therefore no clear trend to market movements last month. The UK market was down 1.8%, principally due to the pound rising against the dollar. Many of the UK's largest companies report their dividends in dollar terms, and so currency movements can have an immediate knock-on effect to share prices. Europe, too, was subdued, down 2%. Uncertainty over the Brexit negotiations is not confined to this side of the channel, and international investors appear to be gently banking some of the profits made during last year. Conversely, in the US, a wave of companies reporting positive third-quarter earnings figures particularly in the tech sector, helped the index gain 3.1%, although foreign exchange movements paired this back to a rise of just 1.3% for sterling-based investors. Interest rates in the US are definitely on the rise. The Federal Reserve will have a new chairman in January, but Jerome Powell is expected to pursue the same policies as his predecessor, Janet Yellen. A quarter-point rise is penciled in for later this month, with a further four quarter point hikes forecast during 2018. While this might be expected to unsettle the markets, the prospect of sweeping tax reforms and evidence that the US corporate sector is in good health is helping investors view the impending monetary tightening as a signal of economic strength rather than a cause for concern. In Japan, the equity market also continued to make headway, gaining 1.5% over the month. Policy initiatives have been introduced to encourage companies to put large cash balances to work. The hope is that this will result in higher dividends, higher wages, and a greater confidence to spend. The Bank of Japan remains intent on pushing up inflation, and with no let-up in quantitative easing, investors remain positive. Elsewhere in the Far East, the Asia-Pacific Index managed a small gain of 0.6% during November, but there is evidence that the prospect of rising interest rates in the US is tempering investor enthusiasm for this part of the world. Bond markets, too, were unsettled by the prospect of a turn in the interest rate cycle. Global bonds did manage a gain of 1.5%, but after taking into account currency movements, this was translated into a small decline of 0.2% for sterling investors. As we go into 2018, markets remain fully valued, but with the global economy growing steadily, the corporate sector in rude health, and American companies enjoying a significant cut in taxes, markets should remain supported. All that remains is for me to wish you a happy Christmas, and thank you for your support this year as we look forward to another prosperous year in 2018. Thank you for listening.